For some reason, I've always had an interest in the uh, what I'll call fake science of biorhythms. I've done quite a few videos about various electronic gadgets, including this one, the Cosmos one or two, I forget which one that is. Cosmos, Cosmos one, it says right there, doesn't it? Um, last year, I'll put a link to that so you can go watch it. And I don't believe in biorhythms, but for some reason I like the electronics. And from the same company, here's the Cosmos Bio Clock. Now, my example is missing a little fold out door that should be here. And on the inside of that door would be this little graph here, which would help you read any of the uh, little biorhythm samples they show that have little lines up and down. Um, but that is, door is missing and this is missing. But at least this way, it makes it pretty easy to see what's under it. We have our little instrument here with our traffic signals, as they call them, and these will light up red, yellow, and green. Spots for six birthdays to enter. The calculator can only do two. This can do six. You can get your biorhythm feed, biorhythm answer. <clears throat> you can compare two people lifetime or day by day. You can enter a date and you can then go forward and backwards through dates uh, to see what people's biorhythms would be. You can set it on manual or you can set it on automatic. In an automatic, each night at midnight, it will cycle through it so that in the morning when people wake up, they can press their biorhythms and it will already, already be set for that day. And they marketed this as saying that it was like families could tell when they were going to be compatible with each other. Employers could tell when their employees were going to be compatible with each other. Sports teams could tell when their athletes were going to be compatible with each other. And uh, down here we have our, it's also a calculator. You can do normal calculator functions, um, four functions. And it can also do world time. It's got a stopwatch feature. It can do elapsed time, stopwatch. And here's, you can set your alarm, have your alarm ready to go on or off. And here you can recall your time or you can recall your alarm if you have an alarm set. And also it has a world time mode. And you can pull out your chart and set your time zones that you want to check for world time compared to your basic time you've set. A very uh, enterprising person scanned and downloaded the owner's manual, which I will use as we go through today. I could not have figured out if it was not for this. So I'll link to this and his uh, manual in the uh, video somewhere. But uh, we've got all of the things. That's the white version that came out a year later. And I think this is 1970 or 1979. So you can see how that would have looked like. Uh, the manual is pretty thorough. Let's get down to the specs page. And it's definitely needed because it's not something you can just look at the machine and figure out. At least I couldn't have. I tried. And there's our specifications, um, if you're interested in such things. Here's the inside, such as I can get to, taking off the outer cover. Various notations, our LEDs for the traffic signals. Let's 
looking around the back and sort of inside. We have a fuse. A power transformer. Some capacitors. Various manufacturers. Still relatively clean there. Fuse. Chishering. AC 250 volts, 200 milliamps. So that's what it looks like inside. Interesting when you take the cover off, the plastic here has a green tint to it all by itself. So let's try and set the clock. Some of this stuff is uh, pretty simple. Clear, set. Two, 30 p.m. Oops. Set, two, 30 p.m. time. And you'll notice we've got 2.30 now and a little indicator on the p.m. sign. You'll probably see some flickering on the VFD display. That's strictly on the video. It's not um, in real life here. All right, we can try world time. Um, C set, enter the time zone I'm in, which according to the little chart here is 18, 1, 8, world time, enter the time zone I want, uh, west coast. Once again, looking at the little chart, 22, world time. Come on, world time. There it is. Okay. Why it's four hours, I don't know. It might have something to do with daylight savings time or something like that. I'm not sure. You probably have to adjust that, but I don't really know how to do that. And we can recall our actual time. World time. Yeah, it's definitely four hours instead of what I would expect, three. Or I went an extra distance to the west. That's probably what it is. Okay. So we'll clear that. has a stopwatch, although I'm not exactly sure why we, you would use this. Um, elapsed time, TML. And then it just uh, counts up. You've got seconds, minutes, and hours. It looks like it's a, you know, 24 hour clock, essentially. Um, where you can clear it. All right, we'll try and set an alarm. See, set, alarm switch is on. Two, 50 p.m. time. So we just switched to 250. It's a 10 second alarm. And one of 
of uh, my other biorhythm machine videos, I took a look at the Wikipedia page on biorhythms uh, and how they call it a pseudoscience and things like that. So that's still relevant in this video. You might want to go check out that Wikipedia page if you're interested. All right, as we start talking about the biorhythms more, biorhythms are based on a birth date. And allegedly in the system, you have certain days that are up days or down days or just okay days. And that's what this little chart will tell you as you uh, reach to someone's readings. And you can do compatibilities among people. So I'm going to enter six birthdays, and uh, I'll enter one so uh, we can see how we do it. And then I'll just uh, shut off for the other five. So birthday one will be three, 10, 1980. Oh, by the way, and this is not Y2K compatible. So you can only go up to 99. So that's birthday one, March 10th, 1980. And one is whatever day it is, uh, a Monday, according to our chart here, a Monday. So I'm gonna enter five more. All right, what we can do with six birthdays plugged in now and looking at the chart, highs and lows and okay days with the traffic signals, we can uh, recall birthday, let's call it birthday two. So that's a fourth day of the week. And we can get that, got two green lights there. And that's their numbers, four, seven, and 23. Um, you read your chart. For that, clear. Um, let's recall birthday one and birthday two. And now we can get a compatibility, lifetime compatibility. So this is lifetime compatibility is based on 100%. So physically they're 48% compatible over their life. Um, emotionally 71%, intellectually 33%, red, blue, and green scales. Now this is their daily compatibility. Um, this is where you really need your ups and downs charts there. To show their okay, up day, down day, two up days, and an up day and a down day for that. So... If we put it in automatic mode, it'll go through all of the days and lifetime compatibility and daily compatibility for all of the six people. You're occasionally changing down here and you're getting different daily compatibilities now. Um, you need to turn it to manual to get out of that. So if someone was skilled enough and can buy a, whoops, somehow I aired it out here, B1 and let's get their bio. 21, 3, and 12. You can go forward by days. You notice the middle digit, uh, 25, 26. Look, they're having a bad day there. And a somewhat interesting day there. Now, if you wanted to go back days, you can do that.
Maybe you wanted to see why they had a problem at some earlier day. Um, you could check their previous biorhythms if you hadn't already. And like I say, this is all based on charts. Someone wrote up a long time ago in a book that compares all these dates. I've noticed in the manual that you can figure out how many days someone has lived. So start with recalling today's date. And I'm going to select a birth date. Clear it. And a minus. And the selected birth date again. And that's how many days that person has been alive. Let's try another birth date. Birthday two. Been alive 3,980. 5,645, 8,676, that's an old person, 9,962, wow, 2,971, there you go, how long all those people have been alive. Well, I guess before we leave, we should look at probably the least interesting item, but this is when they said that would make it worthwhile for businesses to keep in their office or even homeowners as it does have a calculator basic four functions i don't know nine eight seven times 23 equals what oops okay and it does have uh Eight digit display. Oops, I pressed three twice, didn't I? That three key is particularly funky. It tends to uh, double press itself a lot. But anyway, that has been the Cosmos Bio Clock from about 1979. The uh, big brother to the Cosmos One. Biorhythm calculator from the same era. It's kind of a funky science. It's on par with astrology, I think. But people can have fun with them, certainly, as long as it's harmless. So, hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.